Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm in a slightly different setup because I'm actually sharing with you some of my favourite coats that I've brought out here. So I think I've mentioned previously I don't really like to bring out my entire collection. What I like to do instead is make videos like this where I can actually bring some more value by showing you my absolute favourites as opposed to sharing my entire collection where some pieces may get slightly less wear than others. These are specifically my long coats. I do think my short coats deserve their own video it's a whole different ball game however I think as we're going into the springtime I will then share with you those shorter coats and jackets however especially here in London it's still a little bit chilly and to be honest even in the first few weeks and months of spring I'm still finding myself wearing longer coats double-faced wool so I thought I would share them with you here so like I mentioned we have six here some of them are of different styles so we've got some puffer material double-faced wool some fuzzier coats and I just thought it would be really nice and helpful. Just to mention as well, of course, I have my microphone, so if it decides to come out of my jumper at any point, that's what it is. Another thing is, is that I will be linking all of these pieces in the description box of this video. Some of them are sold out or not available anymore since they're a little bit older. So what I will make sure to do is link some similar alternatives down below. However, I will try my best to link to the exact pieces for you. I have styled these already over on my Instagram, hence why they've also made it into this video. I've styled these in a variety of ways. So if you do want to get your hands on any of these or the similar alternatives, you'll already have an idea of how to style it in a variety of ways. And I actually had made a blog post regarding, I think it was my top five or my top 10 of the coats that I would recommend investing in. But anyways, I just wanna get straight on into this video. So although I am on this side, I'm actually gonna start off with my black coats. Starting off with one, my top favorite, probably most worn, well, it's kind of hard to say that, but this is definitely one of my most worn, of course, hence why it's in this video. I have my COS double-breasted coat, and you will see try-on clips. I'm so tempted to put this on now because it's just such a favorite, and I can definitely say that this one in particular, the quality is just unmatched. I have seen quite a few brands do some similar ones. Like I said, I will link those below, but this is just a really epic piece. I think I actually featured it when I first got it, and I I wore it so many times and I continue to wear it so many times and obviously with it being a black coat it's so versatile you can style it in a myriad of ways and honestly I never get tired of it and then the shoulder pads and also the three triple buttons double breasted I think really give it that Saint Laurent feel. So if you're wanting to have something that looks much more premium than it actually is, I would highly recommend this piece, although it has sold out so many times now. This one, I think I had mentioned before, I did get it in a size 32. Initially, I had also got a 34, but this coat does run a little bit oversized and it is actually in its name. I think it's called the Oversized Double Breasted Wool Coat. So this one is already naturally oversized, hence why I would recommend sizing down if you can get your hands on it. But this one is just such a favorite. I am actually gonna put it on for you. Although you are gonna see the try on, this is gonna be a bit funny to see the try on and me putting it on. So hopefully I haven't messed with my microphone or my hair and hopefully you can hear me properly. It's just such a nice one. I always want to put it on. You can see there's the shoulder pad details. It's so perfect on the arms as well, the length of it. I think sometimes I have that issue where many coats are a little bit too short on the sleeve for me, especially because I have quite abnormally long arms. They're not really that long, but they are quite long actually. So because of that, I struggle sometimes with the length of the sleeves for coats. But this one is perfect. And then you've got pockets. And I believe you even have the slit at the back so great for movement and then also lengthwise i am around five foot six with slightly long legs and this just goes up to my ankles so that's a perfect length for me especially in this color i'm okay with that when it comes to things like cream coats i don't want them to be too close to the floor for obvious reasons i don't want it to get dirty but this is perfect. I really, really love this piece a lot. I'm gonna take it off now, but I really do love it. It's got this premium heavyweightness to it. 
you've got inside pockets as well. And I think this piece is when I started realizing that COS had upped their quality massively. And I definitely have noticed this, especially after this coat. Next up is a coat that I really am unsure whether or not this is still available because I got this coat. It's also from COS. However, it's a double faced wool. This one I got almost a year and a half ago, if I'm not wrong. I saw it on one of my friends and I knew I had to get it. And I'm just so happy that I do have it. Funnily enough, and I do think this is down to how maybe I've styled this, but honestly, the other evening, for example, I was out with a friend and she's also very much in the fashion industry and she hadn't seen that it was from COS. She actually thought it was from Kate. And again, this can be due to how you style your pieces. And I think I will do a separate video on how to style your pieces. And also, to be honest, it's a lot to do with how you present yourself. That can sometimes make people believe that the pieces you're wearing are more premium than what they actually are. So honestly, sometimes you don't have to go all the way to Kate or Loro Piana, and although those are fabulous and you can find amazing pieces there, I find it's oftentimes about cultivating the skills of actually learning how to make pieces look more premium than they actually are, and that way you can shop at Cos, Arquette, and other stories, and often look so much more put together and expensive than a piece actually was. Like I mentioned, this piece is also quite old, and it's in a size extra small, and it is wonderful, really. I find it to be a little bit more delicate than my other Cos coat it doesn't have those exaggerated shoulder pads nor is it oversized and I just prefer to wear this if I'm wearing let's say a silk dress to an event and I want to wear something over the top which matches that same delicate flowy feel to it you will see the try on clip it's like many double faced wool coats that you may have seen however I just think this one has that weight to it and it does just look very effortless and very premium in itself similar to the other one I like how it fits on my sleeves it does have pockets and then it has a slit at the back for movement. And I really do hope that they still have it available or something similar. However, this is just one. And I think the main point of this video is that you can take away the type of coats that you might want to invest in that are timeless in your collection. And so in this case, it's a double faced wool in black. The other one was a wool coat with more shoulder pads for oftentimes when you want something a little bit cooler, a little bit edgier. And so even if you cannot get your hands on this exact one, if you can get your hands on something similar or you already have something similar in your closet, it's something that you can kind of bring out and learn to style in several ways as it is a very classic piece that you can bring out again and again, especially in a black color. I also wanted to mention because you may have spotted in one of my previous hauls, I had picked up a double faced wool coat in chocolate espresso brown from Marcella London. But I also do want to say thank you for your feedback and helping me with that one. I did decide to return it because I actually actually found the perfect dark brown coat. It actually has not been launched yet. However, it is from Almada label. I got to see a preview of it as they were celebrating that they're now in Harrods in London. And I will put up a picture. I think I'm allowed to do that. It is so good. And it also comes with a scarf that you can wear and detach and attach back onto the coat. But this is the one I have in black in my collection. Next up is a piece that some of you may remember if you've been watching my channel for a while. And I still absolutely love this one. One thing you may know about me is that I'm not really usually into the traditional puffer coats that are out on the market. Something like a North Face puffer. It's nothing wrong with the puffer coat itself. I do want to experiment with some. I think I saw a cashmere one from the curated that I do want to try out. However, I think that sometimes it makes my outfits a little bit too casual. So one of the ways that I like to add a puffer coat but not exactly a puffer coat is this totem one which I've had for going on over a year I think. It is their signature quilted puffer jacket, sort of a maxi length as well and it's one that I really do like. Again you will see the try on clip of this but I think it's one that you can style in similar ways to how you would style a normal black coat and that's what I like about this. I also like that it has the slits on the side to allow for that movement and I do think it has that very cool and edgy look to it without it being a traditional puffer coat which is you know your shorter ones which are still nice and if you like that that's great and you might want to exchange this for something like that however for me personally I think I'm also very much into my maxi coat so this kind of has to match I really do like this one I think especially when everyone is kind of sometimes wearing the same thing it's really nice to have these pieces that you've had in your closet for years and then you bring it out and it's like whoa where's that from and it just adds a little bit of difference to the source to the soup 
whatever you want to call it. You don't feel like you're wearing the same things as everyone else, but you're still able to utilize your classic pieces in your collection that you've invested in earlier on. This next coat always brings a smile to my face when I bring it out. This is my By Malene Berger. I know that's not how you say it. I can't remember how to pronounce the brand, but this is the Trulem coat in the cream. Although this is relatively new, you might say, how is this already in your favorites? However, I wanted this coat for years before I actually got this recently. So I've had enough time to mentally structure out outfits around this coat and it has met my expectation of it. It is a little bit more delicate with it being cream. So I don't wear it out all the time, but when I do, I get so so many compliments and oftentimes when I tell people where it's from they've never heard of it before which I like again it's back to that totem one you don't have to purposely do this every time but it is just nice to know that maybe you're wearing something that no one really knows where else it's from and I really like that and also this coat it came back I think I mentioned in the sale and then they took it off so actually I'm still trying to figure out how you guys can get your hands on this but I will say that does also make me a little bit not happy, that sounds very mean, but it does make me happy that not everyone is wearing this coat because it just means that I can wear it and just, you know, although you don't have to force yourself to be different or look different, it is nice sometimes to have a piece. Like I do love the Margot bag and I know everyone has that bag right now. That doesn't stop me from loving the bag. However, this one is just epic. I've spoken about it in my most recent haul. So you can go over there and check out the full try on and description and also my full thoughts of this coat. However, it is just one I really love. Again, this one is in a size 32 and just to mention the Totem one is in a size extra small, I believe. I did have to size down with that one from the first time I got it. Similarly, I did the same thing here. I initially had a size 34 and then I sized down to a 32 because it was too oversized. Like I mentioned, I felt like it had too much fabric on the sides and therefore it had added some width to the side of my body. However, this size 32 is absolutely perfect and I just love how it looks from every angle. The back looks amazing honestly sometimes I'm wearing an outfit and I do just have to tell myself that the back of the outfit is not my business it's not the case with this it's just it fits so well it looks really good from the back from the front from the sides I love it it has the slits as well again for movement similar to the totem coat I had showed you I cannot get over it and I think the color is so perfect it's a little bit more high maintenance like the one I'm about to show you next however I do think you need to have these statement pieces in your collection especially during this time of year where I really do feel like outerwear can really make or break your outfits because it's the majority of what you see. And then sticking on with the cream, I have this Jane and Tash alpaca coat. Now this one does have a few more pros and cons than my Bimeline Berger one. However, like I said, sometimes you have to compromise because the piece is just incredible. It is a double breasted and it has pockets. This one up here is a faux pocket, but these on the side are real pockets. And then unlike the shawl collar of the other, other one this one has a normal collar it has a slit at the back the one thing I would say about this is if you're wearing it with dark colored clothing it can get on your clothes that's one of the biggest things I would say about this one however I really save this piece to wear with lighter colored pieces of clothing so that you can't see it as much and then it has quite exaggerated shoulder pads so I save this for when I need a va va voom moment but it's still really nice again it's more of a statement piece especially with it being fuzzy it's more of a statement piece however it actually does keep you very incredibly warm with it being alpaca wool and it is lined so overall it keeps you quite warm sizing wise I need to check but I think I got this in a size six or maybe an eight I need to double check I will leave that on the screen and in the description box of the video but again it's one I absolutely love and also you know me I'm into my cream coats this is only a few of them that I have in my collection but I have a weakness for them they just look so good with so many things and they always just look so timeless and effortless and then lastly the last coat I have here is from Almada label again you would have seen this in one of my most recent hauls and yes it has had enough time to graduate to one of my favorites like I said the only thing I would ever change about this is maybe the color of the lining However, it's such a nice coat. I'm gonna put it on as well, but it really reminds me of the Cos one that I showed you first, where it just has that structure. It's just so nice. And I don't have any other coats in this color. I think it's just really nice. I also forgot to mention that the only other thing about the Jane and Tash coat is that it is a little bit short on the sleeves for me. However, you have to bear in mind, I have really long arms. This Ahmad label one is perfect in the size small. And I'm wearing it with navy blue right now. And I think it could be an outfit I could just throw on 
pair of shoes and that's how I would kind of style it and I love coats like this where you can throw on with just about anything you're wearing and it just works and it's just easy to style easy to elevate an outfit again this one is double breasted and you would have seen me feature it already in one of my recent hauls where I spoke more in detail about it and I just think Armada label is really up there with one of my favorite brands and now like I mentioned with that dark chocolate brown coat that they're bringing out and I did see some of the other pieces that haven't launched yet I cannot wait for them to launch there is a lot a lot of dark chocolate brown pieces that are epic I cannot wait to get my hands on them quality is there of course it's heavyweight a lot of my hangers which aren't these sturdy ones are actually bent because the coats are so heavy that they actually bend inwards and that's the case with pretty much all of the ones that are these black hangers are bent. I know I should probably upgrade their hangers and I will. However, that just comes to show you how heavyweight the coats actually are. And just like that, that is all six of my favorite coats at the moment. Well, I say at the moment, it really is for this season and going into spring. Now, like always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section if you did and also any other videos you would want me to film for you. Of course, there are so many videos that I'm excited to film for you, but let me know if you have any specific requests honestly I'm just very happy to have all these pieces here and sometimes when you have a video where everything you're talking about you love it also ends up being quite chatty so if it is chatty that's the reason why but like I mentioned at the start of the video the most important thing to take away from this video is investing in pieces that excite you that bring some joy to your collection and like I said it doesn't have to be these exact coats it can just be that you take away the fact that maybe you want to invest in a double-faced wool and that can be from pretty much anywhere but with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys very very soon in my next one.